Is it okay if I film? Pictures, yes. Videography, no. We come into a problem with copyright. Oh, okay. All right. So, I'm filming this from Veterans Park, where we met to go up to Salida. And that is because, um, apparently, prison officials have an issue with you filming their prison up close. Um, I believe the exact words were, uh, nah, you get on out of here. Um, so I started my typical, you know, pushback, uh, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, uh, photographer's rights, documentarista rights, you know, all that stuff. And uh, the exact phrase I got back was, uh, what we've got here is a failure to communicate. Well, haven't heard that line from a prison movie before. Uh, I decided to just go ahead and move on. So here we are at the Colorado Territorial Correctional Facility. It is the oldest prison in Colorado. And what we're looking at here is the new female quarters as they were built in 1935, which now houses the Colorado Museum of Prisons. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing well. Do you have a mask by chance? I'm sorry? Do you have a mask? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. We don't like them either, but we're stuck. No, no, no. I just forgot. I completely forgot. Here. Let me set this down real quick. All right. Is it okay if I film? Pictures, yes. Videography, no. We come into a problem with copyright. Oh, okay. All right. So this is what you see when you first walk in, and uh, nice wide hallway, cell doors are kind of small, which gives you an indication of how big the cells are, but uh, all that other stuff that's out in the hallway, I don't think that was there when this was an active prison, um, especially that stuff high up on the walls. I mean, that was stuff that the prisoners made to try to escape, and having it out there would just give them easy access. They put these license plates on the cell doors with the corresponding number. Uh, to a pamphlet that they give you with information in it and when I saw this I thought wow how cliche license plates really um, come to find out uh, they actually still make license plates at this facility So this was a woman's cell from the early days, and uh, it was pretty cozy. I mean, they made all this stuff themselves right there in the prison. And there was a shawl and doilies, and you may not have noticed it, but there's a toilet right there. It even has a quilted seat cover. So they got a sink in the corner, they've got teddy bears, they got a place to hang their clothes, a nice quilt. I don't know what that is on the pillow. Headphones, maybe? I know they used to do shock treatments, but no. And speaking of dresses, they had these three jumpers. And I'm assuming that the red one is for the winter because it's the only one with sleeves. Now, this is a modern cell, okay? And we're gonna zoom in, and they replaced the table with a footlocker. And that footlocker is used for storing snacks. The toilet's still in the same place, but now it's a combination sink and toilet, and there is no quilted cover. They took the sink out, of course, and uh, they have a television and a fan, which I think would be very important with an open toilet in that small a space. I don't know about the, uh, the picture on the calendar back there. That almost looks like it's from the 40s. But she is uh, wearing her COVID protection. The big difference here is there's two people in each cell now. And you can tell who the toughest one is because she's up on the top bunk. Because nobody wants to be down on that bottom bunk with an open toilet two feet away from her. Anyway, 
I didn't see a beauty parlor in this place, but um, man, she's got some gorgeous hair. Not to be confused with the Big House. Big House USA had a backstory that took place here in Colorado. So they naturally filmed it here at the uh, facility. And this movie was actually about a prison riot in 1929 at this facility. And if you look down in the right corner of the poster, you'll see a familiar name, DeForest Kelly. Yeah, that DeForest Kelly. Bones from Star Trek. He was in this movie. Doesn't look like that a big part though. And right underneath that line is the warden, Roy Best. He played himself. Uh, I don't know if that had anything to do with the decision to let him shoot here or not, but hmm, makes you wonder. Yeah, like this guy, Josie Nunez. That's a self-portrait of him in the middle. And yeah, I've seen pictures of him. That's pretty darn accurate. And he had all those Rembrandt paintings around there. You know? The dude's pretty good. Interesting thing is he would turn the paintings upside down when he painted their eyes. Because uh, apparently that makes the eyes follow you when you walk by a painting. So I checked it out. It was creepy. Now, this artist made an interesting study of light. But it's not my favorite. Oh no. This is my favorite. Why? Because it's uncanny. It is uncanny. Yeah, this probably wasn't any fun for this guy, uh, James Sherbondi, as you can read up there. He escaped, they captured him, and then they shaved his head like that. Man, that'll teach him. I bet he never tries that again. And back in the middle of the last century, spanking was all the rage. Yeah, I think that's where my parents got it from. But man, they done wore his trousers out. So this is the thing he was bent over when they were spanking him. And I, I just got a question. Why, why is the top all padded? Is it like bruising their thighs would be cruel and unusual punishment so I gotta be honest with you when I saw this sign from a distance I thought it said executive suite boy did I get that one wrong but inside the executive suite they had the names of the prisoners that are on death row so I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking what happened to number two did he die of natural causes? Was he was he killed by other prisoners? Did he escape? And what do they do when the order gets off? I mean, number two is gone. What do they do? Pick somebody from the alternate list on the other side? Huh. Oh, I. Those are cell numbers. Yeah, this is the gas chamber um, that they actually used. They moved it outside and put it in its own little building, and it's got photographs and all kinds of stuff all around it um, and you can see the whole thing online videos of it and pictures so I, I'm not going to put you through all that but I, I just had a question when I saw this um, that chain that locked chain and the sign yeah just what the heck did the prisoners think when they saw that okay so we're leaving the prison museum and um it was okay. I mean, for 10 bucks, it wasn't bad. Uh, it wasn't quite what I expected, but I don't see a lot of prison museums, so maybe it was fantastic and I just don't realize it. <laughs>